Greetings, super friends. Jonathan Levy here, serial entrepreneur and creator of the Become a Super Learner and Becoming Superhuman online content series. And today I'm going to be talking about a different topic, which is ambition. How much is too much? If you're a subscriber of this channel or just searching the topics that we tend to come up on, chances are you are an ambitious person. You wanna get the most out of life, whether it be personally or professionally, and you have dreams and aspirations. Am I right? Well, if you are the type of ambitious person that's always seeking more, you've probably found yourself in a tough situation. How much ambition is too much ambition? How do you balance this idea between being happy and grateful for what you have on the one hand and constantly striving to seek more? Now, in my own life, I have struggled with this so much, going from being a Silicon Valley CEO all the way to the other side of the spectrum and running a four-hour work week, completely passive business that doesn't really feed my ego to today finding a happy balance. And in this video, I wanna share with you some of my own thoughts about this ambition. See, one of the first things that I really discovered was that there's a big difference between working towards something because you will then be happy and working towards something because it makes you happy. This is something that Steve Jobs talks about in his commencement speech that was shared and went viral and millions if not billions of people saw it. The idea that if you're working towards something and you wake up three, four, five days a row and think to yourself that you're not happy, there's a pretty good chance that you are in this camp, that you are working towards something and telling yourself, when I just get there, I'll be happy. When I just get the degree, I'll be happy. When I just get a new job, I'll be happy. When I just find the right partner, I'll be happy versus working from a place of happiness and contentment. Now, just knowing these two things is not enough, unfortunately, to keep you out of this toxic ambition space. And I think what I need to remember and what so many people need to remember is this idea of energy and enthusiasm versus depression, jealousy, and negative emotions. You see, there are two different ways to look at the world and what other people are doing. And this is something personally that I've struggled with as I've joined Genius Network and other high-level masterminds and met some of the people that I most admire. How do you balance between saying, wow, I'm so inspired by what these people are doing and I wanna do it as well, versus, wow, these people are doing so much better than I am and what's wrong with me? And I think where, it, where the line comes down is does that ambition inspire energize and motivate you, or does it depress and deject you? And this is a balance that I think we all have to play at different points in our lives, but just being cognizant enough and asking yourself, why am I doing the things that I'm doing, is enough to kind of stop those negative, toxic thought patterns in their tracks. I also think you really have to ask yourself about what kind of environment you're in. For example, is the environment that you're in encouraging and motivating you or depressing and distressing you. I personally chose to actually move out of Silicon Valley and towards Tel Aviv because here it's so much easier to be grateful for what I have as opposed to jealous of what I don't have. As Guy Kawasaki famously said, everyone in Silicon Valley wants to be something they're not. The entrepreneurs wanna be VCs, the VCs wanna be entrepreneurs, and Guy Kawasaki just wants to be a pro hockey player. I definitely found that to be true and found that actually moving to a different but no less ambitious place helped me be happier with who I am and what I have. Now, this isn't to say that I don't still fly around the world to get motivation and inspiration and learn from others, but I found that doing so from a little bit of a distance helps me be much more grateful. So I wanted to pose this to you and ask you guys in the comments below, what are some times in your life where you've had healthy ambition versus what I call toxic ambition? What did you do and how did you get out of that toxic, aspirational, wanting to be something that you're not and back into the motivational and excited position of how can I be the best that I possibly can. I hope this has been educational and informative. I want to encourage you guys to take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. And let us know in the comments below if you want to hear more videos on my thoughts about how to live a superhuman life. Thanks for watching.